Hey YouTube, it's um BC13 Guyzilla, and I will be showing you how to get Spinboard on your iPod Touch. If you just look at this um, picture of my iPod, I'm using VNC or yeah, VNC. See, you can see it, but that I just move my screen back and forth. If I tilt it to the left, the icons move with it. If you look at the screen splitter, that's the easiest one to notice. The screen splitter icon in the bottom right. Just too bad the dock doesn't move with it. But if the connection just with the VNC is a little better, it should move with it. And if you notice right here, all the icons are upside down. Yeah. So this the names don't move with it and the iP and the dock down here at the bottom don't move with it. Okay, first I need you to go into Cydia. And then just while Cydia loads, I want you to go look at the link in the description. You're gonna need to download the spinboard file. And as you can see, I have it right here over on my desktop. And then you're going to need to download WinSCP. WinSCP. That link will also be in the description. There's one essential upgrade. Um... Just let me hit complete upgrade. Just let me see what it does really quick. No, it shouldn't take long. <coughs> Just let it reload. Hopefully I won't have to restart my springboard. And I do. Okay, just hang on. It's restarting. Just one second. There we go. My springboard restarted. Okay. Just let me connect. There. It's all back to normal. I would like you to open, hang on, I would like you to open Cydia, so let me check my time on my video, it should only be like three minutes, yep, ah uh, yes I do use B. SR. Okay. I'd like you to go into search. Package names and descriptions, like the the text bar. I would like you to type in boss prefs. And then search. Right here, you should see Boss Press Service Slash Setting App Replacement. Click that. Right here, it'd say Install or um, Download, and then you'd hit Install. See, I have Reinstall and Remove because I already have it. Okay, now you're going to go back to Search, and you're going to type in Open. S S H and it's right there. Open S S H. Just download that too. Okay. Next you are going to close out of Cydia. And now you should have the WinSCP file downloaded and the SSH file downloaded. 
And what you're gonna do is you're gonna open one SCP. One SCP, you're gonna open your boss press. Hang on, Wi Fi. Right there, that's your IP. Now, I'm gonna, I already have it. I'll hit edit. Right here, you're gonna type in your host name, which is your IP address. And then the username is root, and the password is A L P I N E. Here, I'll just do this for you. Oh, that's the list of. That's the password right there. Alpine. Okay, I recommend just do save and log in. And then do your login, but I'm already going to log in because I already have it. And then this should pop up right here. It may ask you something, but just hit update or accept or whatever. Now you're going to go back. You're going to double click on the double dots four times. One, two, three. I meant three times, only three times. Now you're going to click on library, mobile subtree, dynamic libraries, and in here you should see some things. Right here I have been bored in here already. But I will, all you have to do, now you're going to copy, you're just going to drag this over here into it. And I already have it, so I'm going to cancel, but you guys are going to hit copy. And then that'll show up. And then what you want to do is at your, I, well, you're going to exit out of this first. It'll say terminate session, hit OK. And then over here on your iPod, oops, sorry, I just hit the microphone, I dropped my iPod. Um, you're going to... I have this little bar that comes down. I like using this, but you guys may have to reboot your iPod. Um, only do that if you know how to start it back up if you have the 2G, or you just have to respring. You have to respring or reboot. I'm going to hit respring really quick. And then it should say initializing setting language and it's going to shut off on the computer, but it's respringing right now. And then when you tilt your iPod, the icon should tilt with it. It's called Spinboard. Thanks for watching, YouTube. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. BC13, guys. I'm out.